Welcome to the Roman town of Bath, famous for its hot springs, ancient monuments and bath stone presents. You can't walk down these streets without imagining uniformed gentlemen and beribboned ladies. But because of Bath's beauty and history, house prices here are high. Bath is a world heritage site and few new homes have been built. The advantage, most of the properties are original and beautiful. The disadvantage, lack of supply. We love the place, we love Bath and if we're going to live here for some time, we might as well live in a house that we can actually call our own. The city's always attracted travellers. 2,000 years before Jeff and Karina arrived, the Romans made Bath their home. And over the centuries, the city has attracted the likes of Gainsborough, Austin, Wordsworth and Dickens. Everyone says in Bath, by Victorian, by Ed Edwardian. No, by Georgian. By Georgian, mm. Edwardian, um, versus no, by, by modern. Georgian. They say, by Georgian. Well, Jeff, just to be clear, properties in Bath are mostly Georgian, dating from the mid-18th century. They have pedimented doorways and large sash windows, and are made from honey-coloured Bath stone, which is cut from a local quarry. We want four bedrooms, two bathrooms, big on the inside, light and airy, high ceilings, and we want small outdoors. The other thing we want is close to the city. We want good indoor-outdoor flow, and preferably inside, maybe a little bit of open plan living as well. All of this for under £300,000. Well, that's no small list, and Georgian property doesn't come cheap. £300,000 for a slice of city living is not going to be easy to find. But Jeff and Karina still haven't unpacked any of their furniture, so finding the right home in Bath is top priority. Our first house is a five-minute drive from the town centre in the popular area of Weston. This Regency townhouse has one bedroom less than they would like, but at £275,000, it's well within their budget. The house is spread across three floors and has held on to many original details. So this is the first room, which is the dining room. Do the Georgian features, like the cupboards and the fireplace, do they appeal? Well, I don't know that we even know what Georgian features are. <laughs> My first reaction is, it's small. The kitchen is through there. Right. And that is probably smaller than this room. Now, it occurred to us that if you knocked through, you'd make a, a good-sized kitchen eating right. family room. So, this is the wall you'd knock down, and this is the kitchen. Smaller. Even if you did knock the wall out, it's still a small space. I'll give you a classic example. If you had an extractor fan across here and you had it on full bore and I was doing some Chinese cooking, then the people in the other room wouldn't be able to hear the conversation. So the kitchen's too small for Jeff's culinary gymnastics, but will the rest of the house win them over? And through here is the drawing room. It's a first floor formal sitting room. Right. Here you've got the original fireplace. So a feature like that is going to add to the value of the house? It is going to add to the value of the house, and this is really important. If it doesn't add to the house for you, right. then you've got to bear in mind that you're paying for it. And if it isn't something that you find charming, right. then you've got to think, hmm, how much is it costing me? Is it worth it to me? Right. It isn't a big room. A, a great trick for seeing the amount of floor space you have and getting away from the clutter that someone else has is if you do this, you lie down on the floor in the most dignified manner possible, <laughs> and you have a much better idea of your floor space without the furniture which doesn't belong to you and won't be here when you move into the house. Right. Oh. <laughs> I'll remember that. <laughs> Even a horizontal Kirsty wasn't enough to convince Karina that the house was big enough for them. So if space is the key, our next house has plenty of it. This Victorian terrace on Barclay Place might look like a two-storey home from the front, but actually it's on four floors, an inventive solution to the problem of building on the hills of Bath. Priced at £298,000, it might just have everything they're looking for. But it's a reasonable sized living room. Uh, it's very um, traditional, I suppose. It's very, to me, very um, dull. It, it doesn't have that wow factor, does it? It has a fairly wow view. But look at what ruins the view. It's those windows. It's a bit of a shame. It is a real shame. Because the view is great, but all I can see is this white plastic. But what about the space? 
The house does have some very good sized rooms. What do you think? I mean, it has got everything. It's got a great utility room outside. It's got a loo downstairs, bathroom in there. Yeah. But it just doesn't quite do it. It's got great. I love the tiles. Yeah. But I mean, you don't buy a house for the tiles. No, but I'm. Maybe not the tiles. But what about the kitchen? Well, I must admit, I can't get over the internal decoration. It just hits me straight in my face. I think it's dangerous to be um, either seduced by decor that is wonderful mm. or completely put off by decor which is dated let's see if if the garden can change your mind you can i don't know that a garden's going to change my mind so you see this really is the most spectacular feature of the house this garden is beautiful love the garden absolutely love mm. the garden mm. i know the place could do with some redecoration we could do that yeah but uh first impressions not for me Karina? I'd have to agree. I think the garden is gorgeous. I just don't know that I get that feel. Well, that was a great sized house, but it didn't convince Jeff and Karina. I think they're finding it hard to visualise the potential of these houses. Our next property, just slightly up the road in Upper Camden, has it all laid out for them and has great open plan living. This period townhouse has four reception rooms, though at £340,000 it's over budget. But if Jeff and Karina like what they see, we might be on the right path. Nice front door. Beautiful front door. But the bay wouldn't have been original. The Georgians built their house with a flat front, so that's a Victorian addition. OK. Something a bit different? What do you make of this? Bit of a well, grander style. It, well, it is. And it's got, it's got some openness down here, which is exactly what we need with the children. These wooden floorboards, you see by the width of them, they really are original. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Things are starting to look promising. Now, this is what they call a country kitchen, I suppose. It's a sort of rustic design. Who's the cook in your family? Well, I'm the cook, yeah. so... Uh... Right. <laughs> so and this could you kitchen... cook on a range? Yeah, I'd cook on a range, but I understand it's a lot slower. I prefer mm. gas, especially yes. for Chinese cooking. It's one of those things that some people will come in and go, oh, my God, they've got a range, I must buy the house. And right. some people go... We're not. That's not us. <laughs> <laughs> we want to come over here and, and buy with the Georgian and the period and all of that. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's not the sort of kitchen that we look at and go, well. My first impression is it's like a uh, bit dated. Well, if the kitchen doesn't do it for them, maybe this extension right. will. Come through the kitchen into this wonderful room. Now, originally, this was the outside wall of the house. And you can see the pediment there where you would have come in from the garden. And what they've done is they've dug under the garden here, they've tanked this, sealed it, made it waterproof, and effectively added an enormous amount of space. I think this space is great. It'll yeah. be fantastic for the children. You can see them. It gives them more room to move in, and it's light. It's fabulous. Yeah. On the first floor, there's an extremely spacious living room with a wall already knocked down and a large bathroom running from it, a potential ensuite bedroom but the icing on the cake has to be this panoramic vision of Bath. Something we have to ask ourselves when presented with a view like that is how much of the value of the house is being asked for the view? Mm -hmm. I suspect that there's 10, 20,000. But I must admit, it's nothing that's going to say, hey, pick me, pick me. So, although they like the space, Jeff and Karina aren't too keen on paying over the odds for the view in the kitchen. But other causes for concern are the steep steps up to the house and the parking. This is a huge problem in Bath and one that Jeff and Karina are going to regularly come across if they want to be near the city centre. And this house is no exception. Well, we've seen three period properties and none of them seem to be grabbing our couple. Whatever their friends have told them about buying Georgian, I'm not sure that in their hearts they actually want period. Time to change tack slightly and show them a good-sized, modern home. It's detached, it's got its own garage, four bedrooms, 298,000. 298. Let's see what you think of this. This modern house is set in a quiet neighbourhood, ideal for bringing up young children. With four bedrooms on the first floor, the house is bright and spacious, with a large kitchen and none of the parking hassles of a property in town. But what about the old world charm? As you can see, we've entirely lost any feature that you might have been looking for? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not just in this room, though, is it? In the house. In the house. Honest opinion? Has to be an honest opinion. I won't work with anything else. Don't like it at all. Karina. 
I'm with him. So, no sale there. But has this dispelled any lingering doubts? I think what it does for me is absolutely without doubt crystallise the fact that we want a period. Right. Well, at least we're sure that a period property is the way ahead. More importantly, so are Jeff and Karina. But on the downside, time is starting to run out. We've shown them four good properties and none of them fit the bill.